I'm calling right now. Yeah, I need you to have in front of me. There's a drunk man at my door threatening my life. Can go ahead. Okay. Hey, who let my door again? Who might stay there? I'm getting my gun. This is ridiculous. If he comes in my door, do I get a chance to shoot him? Sir, I'm not going to get a chance to shoot him. I'm going to get a chance to answer my question. Your yeah. address is... Yeah. Do you know this mail? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I picked him up yesterday. Huh. I pulled my house. Okay, how do you know him? He's not in the law. He's drunk. Does he have any weapons? No. But you said he's been drinking? Yeah. And he's ripping, ripping my screen door off. Okay, so he's ripping the screen door off? Screen door off, yes. Yeah. He's doing property to my house. Probably property damage to my house, yes. Yeah. As you heard there, a man was calling uh, the police on his son-in-law who was apparently drunk and causing property damage to his home, ripping off his screen door, threatening and apparently holding a, a, a tow hitch. A big metal tow hitch that goes on the back of trucks, of course, to tow things. That was the weapon that he was holding. He would not uh, relent. He would not stop threatening, would not stop running upon the door. And he even asked it. That was a fascinating part. Hey, if he comes in here, can I shoot him? This is a son-in-law again. I'm gonna get my gun, I can't wait to shoot him. Think about all that as we then see what cops did as they showed up to the scene to confront that son-in-law who was holding a tow hitch. Watch. He's sitting in a car? I think your husband wants you to go home. Yeah, I just parked here. Go ahead. There he is. Hi, sir. Hey, don't move, okay? Hey, put that down. Put that down. Barry 73, one at gunpoint, uncooperative. As this video continues on, again, another graphic warning. This is when they got violent with him in multiple different ways. So again, let's watch. Don't move, okay? Hey, put that down. Put that down. Barry 73, one at gunpoint, uncooperative. Put that down. Put that down or you're gonna get tased. You're gonna get tased. Put it down, man. Put it down. 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 Down. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground. You got comms? Horrifying footage there. Um, who knew that shooting someone twice was a, a, a was the type of thing that would encourage them to get on the ground. I mean, I think that kind of happens naturally. It's almost like they don't know how humans work. Let's get our details because according to civil rights attorney John Burris' account, Chavez, the man who was shot, had been talking to himself and wandering on his neighbor's lawn when police arrived. He was holding the tow hitch in a quote, non-threatening manner when one of the officers had shot it for him to drop it, as you guys heard there. Burris said that as Chavez attempted to comply, he was inexplicably tased by an officer, as you saw that he just shoved it off uh, without warning and then shot twice by another. Striking him in the left arm and the upper side. Hmm. An outrageous, outrageous shooting is what Burris said during a news conference on Tuesday. This young man should not be dead. Chavez's wife, Brittany Estrella, said, I'm hurt, I'm broken. I can't seem to manage any emotion. She also says, I'll come for both the cops that were involved in my husband's murder. I can't stop seeing what I saw. My husband being tased, shot, looking at his bullet wound. More of the same, yes, a little bit more of the same. Uh, but I wanna get to the last kicker of this, one more part, cuz this is gonna disturb you even further. Yeah. The Modesto Fine. Police Department recognizes and respects the value of all human life. This is a statement. Officer involved shootings are a tragic event for everyone, our office, the community and the family members of those involved. That's what the police chief said. He said that the California's Department of Justice determined that the shooting did not qualify for an investigation Involving the death of an unarmed civilian by police. I guess the tow hitch was considered a weapon enough for you to say, put it down, put it down, and then shoot him. 
Wait, Jared, that, like I know I live in Texas and everybody has a truck, but like what's a tow? It's like it's like that big, right? It's not like a very big thing. It's a, it's it's a heavy metal piece. If he pulled it fully off, like it's probably about if he threw it at somebody, then it's and it's it. it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a heavy metal piece. Okay, it's a yeah. tool you can get from the same similar type of potential blunt object you can get yeah. from pretty much anywhere. It's not a gun, so right. yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Like these cops, like it, it, it sucks because they always get called to deal with these situations, and the idea is that they're supposed to de-escalate the situation or make it better for the people who are involved, right? And to dissipate all the bad actors. But these cops are not equipped to deal with, you know, mental health crises, or in this case, you know, the guy appeared to be intoxicated. You don't shoot somebody for being publicly drunk, right? You have other options, but they always seem to escalate the situation way beyond what this circumstance actually calls for. And it's almost to the point, I mean, it's not almost, it is to the point where if there is a situation, you have to think twice about calling the cops. Because if you call them, will this become so much worse than it could be? And is that a risk that people are willing to? to take. Yeah, when it's your family members, you always see people uh, that will call, not always, but enough. We're like, you know, my family members having a, 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 a mental uh, a, a mental health crisis right now. Yeah. Can you come help? We don't know what to do. They've got a knife, they've got a tow hitch, and they're not prepared to do it. So they're thinking they're calling someone who's qualified to help the situation. But instead, cops come afraid and go, I heard someone has a weapon, time and to kill shoot. your family member. Yeah.